Hello everyone, how's it going? Let's make a quick script of how to find your IP address. And for that purpose, we'll use this website called ip5.org. If you go into the code samples, they allow us to give us some options of how we can access our IP address. So you're basically sending a request to this website and it will give you back your public IP. So you have Python. If you're using Python, this is the format you want to be using. So just go into the code samples and you can use one of these. Uh, like that they have for other programs as well. This is very helpful when you're especially trying to do some IoT related projects where you want to access some remote location, some remote location device. So let's uh, open up our command terminal and we'll do Python. And under Python, let's the first thing you want to do is import requests. And if you don't have request, you can do pip install request and it'll install the request thing. Request is nothing but uh, it's used mostly for web scraping. And we'll use from request import get. So this will help us in web scraping and we're just accessing the response from the IP file. So we'll say, okay, my public IP is equal to get and you want to provide the HTTPS location, HTTPS. You're just specifying the file, this particular website's address. So your computer can ping this website and it will give you the IP address back. So ip5.org and you just close it, dot text. So you're only using the text format, which will be basically your IP address. And now public IP has your own public IP in it. So if you just do print public IP, it'll give you, it'll print out the public IP for you. Now, I don't want to do that here in this case, but uh, if you just print the uh, print button, it'll print the IP address for you. Okay, now this is for public domain IP. Now, if you were working on projects that were more on the local computer and you had a couple of devices that you're working with and you want to access through local on your local server, then you, you do it in a different way. So let's open up Python again. And for that purpose, you need import socket. And socket is something which is uh, already pre-installed. Uh, worst case scenario, you can always use pip install socket, but socket comes pre-installed. So just import socket. And you first need to access your host because your local server, if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, your Wi-Fi has multiple computer, multiple devices like your cell phone, your computers, your laptops, the, all the other electronic devices are already connected to the Wi-Fi. So you first need to access what, I, what device you're referring to. And for that purpose, you're going to say, okay, this is my host and my host, you can use socket get host name. And this is a function which will just find out what your device, what device you're using out of all the devices on the local server. And that's the host. And my local IP on my host will be equal to socket get host by name. So I'm now specifying which host I want. So uh, the socket get host by name will go into all the local IPs and find which device has this host name, which is nothing but your MAC address, and then supply the IP of that particular device. Once so you have local IP, and if you just do print local IP, it'll print the local IP of your computer on the local device. So this is very helpful if you're doing IoT devices and video programming IoT devices. So imagine a Raspberry Pi uh, or, or any kind of uh, operating system that you want to access from your computer, from your main computer. So you, uh, in order to ping that device, you, you do need to access, you do need to know the IP address. So you can use a script like this uh, in the previous program, in the previous video, we looked into a keylogger application where we were sending out emails. We can use a bit of that code along with this, where whenever the device opens up or uh, you know it powers up, it should send an email with the IP address or, or the local and the public IP address to your email. So you know, okay, that's the device and that's the IP address and that is how I can access that I, that device. So in that case, it's very helpful. Uh, you can always send this, uh, make it as an executable file and send it to a different computer whenever you want to access these files. So yeah, uh, thought of just uh, sharing this out. If this is helpful, consider subscribing. 
with that you guys take care stay safe bye bye